Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is the second response to the hood rat known as Heliosphere. Okay, so as you heard her on her second on her uh, second response, she clearly says that um, she acknowledges the points that I made about the the revenues that were made, showing that indeed uh, many more people are involved than obviously what the numbers show. Thanks, and you address facts at the, on the revenue that this industry generates. And so we both have valid points here. She tried to twist it by saying that, well, you know, that $12 billion has to do with people uh, from other countries. Wrong. Because the website that I gave, uh, safefamilymedia.com, actually broke it up. Gave you the worldwide numbers from the uh, uh, porno industry, and then it broke it down separately with the numbers in American revenue. So you're trying to claim that, oh, this has to do with people. Oh, because they already, the, the website already made a separation. It differentiated. It showed you how much is made on the worldwide scale from worldwide contributions to it, and then it broke up America's revenue separately. So your little twisting there is wrong. America has a problem with pornography. Plus, you didn't say anything about the 47% of Christian households that admit that they have a problem with pornography in their own households right there. Okay? That is backwards, sitting in the in front of a freaking camera having sex like a damn animal. So it is a problem. You can uh, deny it all you want. Okay? Now, the next thing she goes into is um, uh, about the Muta marriage. Listen, trick. I already gave the information that clearly proves that it was forbidden. But check this out, everybody. Check what out. Check what I did. What I did was I went to her reference. She said in Sahih Muslim, hadith number 3252, right? Guess what? Guess what? If you look at the hadith before it, the same hadith itself, and the hadith after it, all three of those hadith, 353, is 352 is the one she mentioned, right? But if you read 352, 352, uh, 3251, and 3253, and 3252 itself, you read the whole hadith, at the end it says the prophet forbade muta marriage. What's wrong, trick? You can't read? Huh? You don't know how to read trick or what? You see, you know what she's doing, everybody? She's getting her information from a hate site. That's making her look like a jackass, you see? She thinks she knows what she's talking about, but in reality, they're only giving, that website only gives you part of the quote because they're being dishonest. They are dishonest little devils, little shayateen who are trying to promote some misinformation. If you read the hadith in context, the full hadith, it clearly says that the prophet forbade it, even in the one she quoted. The hadith right before it and the hadith after it says that the prophet forbade it. So again, trick, you're wrong. It is forbidden. So I don't know what the hell you're talking about, okay? The next thing, she talks about uh, the jizzy, about the dhimitude. Wow, you read a verse that says you have to pay a tax. Woo, that's really oppression, man. That's really big time oppression, trick, that you gotta pay taxes? Well, don't we gotta pay taxes in the United States? And won't the IRS punish you if you don't pay the taxes? Can't you face jail time if you don't pay your taxes to the IRS? So what's the problem, Trick? Here it is that Islam's saying you have to pay it. All you gave evidence, all you proved was that you have to pay a tax. That's all you proved. The jizya, all you proved that, that the, you have to pay a tax. That's it. And you know what that tax does? That tax allows you to practice your faith and freely. It also exempts the non-Muslims from military service. If Muslims, if the Muslim nation is attacked, the Muslims have to defend the... Muslims of the nation and the non-Muslim citizens as well. This is what the jizya does. It exempts you from military service. It also goes towards services that the, that the non-Muslims may need in fixing up their places of worship. Because you mentioned that, right? You said that about their places of worship. Well, the proof is that they are allowed to keep their places of worship, in fact. Okay? Here, let me give you the evidence on it. In the book that you said I, uh, in the book you said I held up to the screen, which is right here, "The Rights of Non-Muslims in the Islamic World" by Dr. Sully Hussein. Okay, here we are on page 22. And notice what he does trick is he gives the evidence from Quran and Sunnah in the book. You see, so you're right. He's still quoting what Allah said and what the Sunnah says. Okay, so right here on page 24, he gives uh, a reference to when Umar had made the treaty with the Christians of Jerusalem. And here's what it says on page 24. It says, this is the security given by the servant of Allah, Umar, commander of the faithful, to the people of Ilya. This is the people of, in Jerusalem. They are guaranteed the security of their persons, their possessions, their churches, okay, their crucifixes and everyone within, whether sick or well, as well as everyone in their community. Their churches will not be occupied or demolished. 
nor will anything be taken from them, neither furnishings, nor crucifixion, nor money. They will not be forced away from their religion or harmed because of it. They will, be, they will not be occupied by settlers in Elia. Okay? So, there you go. You were wrong, Trick. Here, let me give you another one. This is from the book Islam's Attitude Towards Heavenly Religions by, Doc, by Ali uh, Zahi Ramadan. Okay? On page 9 and 10, it gives the statement of Muhammad himself. He's, Umar said the same thing that Muhammad said, okay? This is from the Sunnah. Here's what it says, okay? He said, this is a message written by Muhammad uh, ibn Abdullah as a covenant to those who adopt Christianity far and near. We are behind them. Verily, I defend them by myself, okay? The servants, the helpers, and my people because they are my subjects and my allies. I hold out against anything that displeases them. No compulsion is to be upon them, trick. Okay, neither are their judges to be changed from their jobs, nor their monks from their machinism. No one is to destroy a house of their religion to damage it or carry anything from it to the Muslim houses. Should anyone do this, he would spoil God's covenant and disobey his prophet. Verily, they are my allies, and I have my secure charter against all that they hate. No one is to force them to travel or oblige them to fight. The, Muslim, the Muslims are to fight for them. If a female Christian is married to a Muslim, this is not to take place without her own wish. She is not to be prevented from going to her church to pray. Their churches are to be respected, okay? They are neither to be prevented from repairing them nor the sacredness of their covenants. No one of the nation, meaning the Muslim nation, is to disobey this covenant till the day of judgment and the end of the world. So in other words, trick, that means that that, ha that goes on forever. So whatever you were reading, I don't know where you got that from. But this is what Islam teaches, Quran and Sunnah, as you mentioned. Uh, then she talked about how um, she gave some, some news reports about Muslims doing this and that. Oh, I can play that game too. Like, come on, let me play it again. Let's play the game. Let's play the game, Trick. I can play that game just as well. Here we go. Reuters news service, right? Muslims uh, attacks, harassment and attacks are up since 29%. 29% from the year prior to that, okay? Uh, statistics show... That in in prior years, let's see, in the year 2004, there have been 1,522 cases of harassment and attacks against Muslims in the United States. Okay, the year after that, it increased to 1,972 acts of violence, harassment, and discrimination committed against Muslims. This is from Reuters News Service. Okay, so there you go. There. All right. Here's another one. This is from BBC. BBC News. Man racially abuses Muslim woman and tries to rip off her veil. We got an article here in the uh, from a correspondent of the Independent, the newspaper known as the Independent, Richard Lloyd Parry, who talked about how uh, Christians in Indonesia were burning and massacring Muslims in, on the Spice Islands of Indonesia. Got another article here about how. Um, uh, so account the in Indonesian Council of Churches had written letters to other Christians in Indonesia to condemn the Christian Indonesians of the island of Mala, uh, of Maluku for slaughtering 3,000 Muslims, okay? So the thing you were talking about, about Muslims doing stuff in Indonesia, this had to do with these Indonesian Christians killing Muslims first, okay? So, that, so y your point was gone, all right, and lost. And then another one here, we also see uh, that it was reported that about 200 hospital staff and 700 patients and visitors were taken hostage in Thailand, you mentioned Thailand too, by Christian fundamentalist army called God's Army. Okay, so we can play this game too. I, I can name things that Christians have done and other people have done against Muslims just the same. All right? More Bigotry advances right here. This is an article by Umreen Abdullah, Fremont, California. Okay, resident hijab clad Aliyah Ansari, a 37 year old Afghan American woman of six children, lived just blocks away from where she was shot to death in the presence of her three year old daughter on October 19th. I got so many articles I can read of Muslims being attacked. They'll say, New York, Shaheed Amber, 24, was assaulted by a group of Orthodox Jewish teens on October 29th in Brooklyn, New York. All right, let's go on, let's go on. You want to play the game? We can play the game too. Here we go. The day after Mr. Straw made his remarks in England, a gray-haired white man shouting racist abuse 
tore off a Muslim woman's veil. Liverpool police said the attack was a hate crime. On October 13th, another gray-haired white man entered the doubt, and this is what the article's saying. They're saying white man, okay? The article itself is letting you know that it's a bunch of white bigots attacking Muslims, okay?